addresses on the topic of the globalization of peace. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to welcome the President of Israel, Shimon Peres. Zionism started hundred years ago because of anti-Semitism and racism. The peak of the Zionist movement was during the Likus tribe. There are many Jewish people who ask themselves, why are we here? Why is there anti-Semitism? And the world answers. And those the world is wrong, we have to change the world. They became communists. They wanted a world without nations, without classes, without the God in heaven, as both of them used to call it. And no wonder that many of them were Jewish people. The other came Zionists to say we can change the world, but we can change ourselves. And instead of being strangers and different, that's for that place to be and establish a normal life acceptable to all the other peoples. And that was Zionism. So in a way, Zionism started because of racism or anti-Semitism. In my judgment, the elections of Obama is in a way the end of racism. It's a great declaration of human rights. The fact that the black person got the top drop in our time is a human demonstration that we live in a different world. In the last, the partition was very difficult, but in a very existence. And that went on for the last 60 years. We have to go through seven wars. We couldn't afford to lose one of them all the time. And uh, in the Nam, we didn't have military tradition. Actually, the dreams of the
but uh, anger and outrage that was happening now. From a very young age I decided that I should decide when I was starting to tangle was a controversial one in this country as well as elsewhere. And the first thing I want to say uh, to him from the bottom of my heart is to thank him for demonstrating grace under fire.